The potential at particular point in an electric circuit means the amount of energy per coulomb of charge at that point. Let's imagine we have a water circuit. We could look at one point in the water circuit and maybe somehow measure how much pressure there is at that point. That would be somewhat similar to measuring, somehow, how much potential there is at one point. How much push there is at that point. How much energy each coulomb of charge has at that one point. So if potential means energy per charge, what would a formula for potential be? The symbol for potential is V. Various symbols are used for energy. We can say E or we can use U for electric potential energy. Charge's symbol is Q. Potential is electrical potential energy per charge. V equals E or U, meaning electrical potential energy, divided by Q. What is the unit in which we measure potential? Energy is measured in the unit joules, J. Charge is measured in coulombs, C. So potential is measured in joules per coulomb. A joule per coulomb is also called a volt, V. Now actually in a circuit, the difference in potential between two points is of more significance than the actual potential at a point. Like in a water circuit, it's the difference in pressure between two points that actually makes the water move. If you have a pump, the pump creates a high water pressure at one end of it and a low water pressure at the other. And this drives water away from the high water pressure and sucks water in to the low water pressure area. And that's what causes the water to flow around in the whole circuit. Similarly, in an electric circuit, the battery causes one end, one terminal, we say the positive terminal, to have a high potential, to have lots of electric potential energy per charge, lots of push. And the other terminal, the negative terminal, to have a low, we actually say zero, it's really just a reference potential, which we can think of as no energy per charge. And because of this electric potential difference, that drives charge around the circuit, forcing it out one terminal, sucking it into the other terminal of the battery. So potential difference between two points is actually a more valuable concept than just potential. So if potential difference between two points means the difference in potential, in other words, the difference in energy per charge between two points. What is the formula? So we look at the energy per charge at one point, energy per charge at another point, and subtract them. So we could say V at one point minus V at the other point is equal to potential difference. The symbol for potential difference is delta V. Delta is the Greek letter D, and this is the capital letter, which is written as a triangle. It's generally understood in science to mean change in or difference in. So delta V is equal to V at one point minus V at the other point, or difference in the amount of energy between the two points, delta E, or you could say delta U to make it clearer that we're speaking about difference in amount of electrical potential energy per coulomb of charge. Now often we are a bit lazy and we call both potential and potential difference voltage because the unit of both of them is joules per coulomb which is equal to volts. Unfortunately referring to both of them as voltage can be confusing but you have to realize that if we're speaking about voltage at a point we really mean potential. And if we're speaking about voltage between two points or across a circuit or across a certain component, then we're meaning potential difference. We can't really measure potential, but we can measure potential difference. We use a voltmeter. A voltmeter always has to be connected in parallel across the component which we are measuring the potential difference across. 
So it has to have one arm of the voltmeter connected to one point and the other to the other point and then, then the voltmeter sort of measures at one connection. How much energy does each coulomb of charge have there? And at the other connection, how much energy per coulomb of charge is there? And then subtracts one from the other, so to say, and then tells you the difference in electrical energy per coulomb between the two points. Just as we are lazy in often referring to both potential and potential difference as voltage, sometimes when we write their symbols, we use the same symbol, just plain V, instead of using the delta for potential difference. Unfortunately, that can cause confusion. You need to watch out. If you see we're speaking about voltage at a point, you know that it is potential. If you're speaking about voltage across a component, between two points, you know that even if it's written as V, it really should be delta V because you're speaking about potential difference.